So we have uh, Cosmic Aftershock versus Complain. Complain takes out Apollo 11 3-2. And now we have our top four for the week. So it looks like it is one North American team, Cosmic Aftershock, and then three European teams. So the European scene continuing to stay dominant. Yeah, so a little bit interesting this time. So I guess by next week, a little bit of a slightly off-balance bracket. Uh, more EU than NA this time around. But uh, still, I mean, you know, that's what this tournament, tournament is for. Getting the best teams in the world, not just in NA or EU respectively. And that's what we're seeing week after week is just constant dominant performance by certain teams. Yep, and uh, Cosmic Aftershock have, having to go up against the champions from last week, but this time it's going to be in the loser's bracket. Complain, last week, they were able to take the whole tournament without uh, without dropping a series um, all the way into the finals even. So uh, Complain, uh, they were solid last week, and I wouldn't be surprised to see them make it back to the finals yet again. Yeah, they very well could do it. Uh, I will say they did have a bit of a difficult time with Apollo 11, um, kind of surprising there, you know, had to go all five games just to make it through to this matchup with Cosmic Aftershock. So I would say Cosmic's in a really good spot right now to challenge, complain, and maybe even take them out and spice things up a little bit here in week two. What we saw in that last game five, uh, well, I believe it was like six to two against Kings of Urban. So they do have uh, momentum going into this. They've been playing really well and they've had another week of practicing with Kyle under their belt. So, uh, you know, they're not the same team that Complain faced last week. So uh, yeah. Co Cosmic, yeah, they, they were able to uh, take out Apollo 11 pretty, uh, pretty handily. So uh, you're right. I would, I, I kind of favor Cosmic Aftershock a little bit as well. And maybe that's a little bit of my North American bias, but, uh, <laughs> I, and I'll be rooting for them as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I think a little bit of it is kind of just the reality of the situation. They are certainly in a better spot than complain coming through the rest of this tournament. Uh, yeah, they're both in the lower bracket, but just looking at the results they've had so far, uh, they're looking to be probably the more dominant team here. So obviously we won't know for sure until they actually get on the pitch and we see how they play. But from what we've seen so far, it's looking very good for Cosmic to uh, maybe make it through to the lower bracket finals. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And just to cover again, the top four teams that will be moving on to next week's Rocket Royale, it's going to be Cosmic Aftershock, the lone representative from North America. Complain is going to be moving on as well. They automatically qualify. Flipside Gaming or Flipside Tactics is going to be moving on as well, along with Swarm Gaming. So Flipside and Swarm and Complain, I'm not going to be surprised to see these guys week after week. And I'm really, uh, I'm dreading the day that there's no North American teams uh, represented. But uh, I don't think that'll happen. I think uh, we'll have somebody represented every week, or at least I hope. <laughs> You, you never know. It really depends on what teams decide to emerge and, and what really happens. I mean, these EU squads have been looking dominant so far, but that tide can turn. You know, anything's possible. The scene is very young. Teams are still, you know, slowly kind of emerging. Uh, Apollo 11 really brought it to complain. They could come back next week and uh, really show off. You know, they have to go through the qualifier again, assuming they make it. But I would say based off this performance, their spot in the, in the uh, power ranking should be pretty safe. Um, so I, I could see them getting all the way through. Yeah, I. Uh... But I will say, <laughs> you know, the, the 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 winner bracket final, the one that we we've been waiting on now, and I know a lot of people are eagerly waiting for Flipside versus Swarm. Uh, it's one of those matches that I, I feel like will exist forever. <laughs> it, it's, it's kind of one of those epic rivalries that just will always be there in a Rocket League tournament. And practically every time these two teams are involved, they play each other at some point, uh, usually in the finals, because that's how it tends to pan out. But in this case, um, you know, they're meeting in the winner bracket final. So they could meet again, though, based off the format of this tournament. You know, it's possible for them to meet one more time in the grand final assuming what happens because uh, let's say swarm were to lose their winner bracket matchup with Flipside, they would take on the winner of this next game we're going to cast and whoever wins that meets Flipside. so it could be a little bit of a double trouble situation for Flipside, um but we'll see you know you never really know when when it comes to those two teams on who's really going to emerge victorious but 
Yeah, absolutely. And you can see I'm here, <laughs> I'm excited too. And I, I really hope that uh, Cosmic makes it to the finals. We need a North American champion. We need somebody to, <laughs> to, to win it for us. I know that you're uh, rep, rep in the EU sign. So, but uh, anyway, taking a look at the brackets here. Yes, we have the winner's bracket final here with Swarm versus Flipside Tactics. The loser of that goes down and will drop into the loser's bracket final, which the winner of the Cosmic complain, they'll be moving on to play either flip side or swarm depending on uh, who loses that matchup. And if you guys want to check these brackets out for yourself, it's uh, rocket-league.com. Um, and then check out Rocket Royale under the central tab. You can also type in exclamation point brackets, and I believe uh, that will uh, show you as well. But we are just waiting right now to get into the lobby with Cosmic Aftershock and Complain. We'll be joining up with them in just a moment. We're going to see if that room is available. It looks like it is created, so we're going to hop into this dual view here and just wait for these teams to pick sides. But uh, Cosmic and uh, Complain, this is going to be quite the matchup. Champions of last week versus the number one team from North America. Yeah, this will be some fun stuff. And uh, here we go. I, I am still going to lean a little bit toward... Of course, uh, uh, Cosmic, just based off their performance so far. But I guess anything is possible. Yep, so we're going to see here. Just go on board with Kronovi as Kronovi and team try to get something going early against Complain. Yep, right now just feeling each other out. Not seeing anything too significant out of either squad, but it is that game one situation where you normally will see both teams kind of just carefully playing each other out. Nice shot, though, <laughs> by Sad Jr. Does get turned aside. And it looks like for this uh, first game, we are playing on the European servers. So this is a slight advantage for uh, Complain as uh, Cosmic Aftershock is based out of North America, and this is a European server. Yeah, and that uh, is always a good perk. For oh my oh. gosh, that ball oh, it seemed Huge like it wasn't going in for a second. But uh, we can watch from Kronovi's point of view as this ball just launches over and sad. Just uh, make sure that that goes in there. Uh, Cosmic up early 1 0 against Complain. Yeah, that, you, I was going to say it's usually a nice advantage for the local team, but there goes Cosmic scoring the first goal here on the EU server. So. Maybe not quite the advantage that uh, Complain would hope it would be. Yeah, that was a pretty crazy shot off the wall. It looks like it took a deflection off somebody on Complain, and then Sad just followed that along to make sure that it uh, went in. He barely had to touch it. But uh, an unfortunate bounce for Complain. We'll see how they bounce back from that and answer. And Kronovi uh -oh. <laughs> decides to put him even further behind with this second goal for Cosmic Aftershock. You can see a great Deep shot from Kronovi. Nobody back. Dadu missing that clear, and Kronovi just walks it in. Yeah, couldn't quite make any contact there. Easy touch by Kronovi. Extends this lead to 2-0. And a uh, comfortable place for Cosmic right now. We'll go on board with Yemen here. Yemen playing on Team Complain. And we'll see if he is able to uh, score a goal with the help of Dadu and crew. Could very well do that, and I am just trying to make sure I'm not destroying this game right now with my <laughs> terrible lag uh, <laughs> and the difficult time here. But uh, yeah, I mean, I think a lot of what's going to happen now is Complain really needs to figure out how Cosmic's approaching this game. And I talked a bit about how Cosmic was probably going to ride some momentum going into this game, and we're seeing a lot of that. You know, there is there is a few shining moments here for Complain, but they really need to turn it around and quickly to show that they have enough to compete against Cosmic in this series because as it stands right now, it is definitely Cosmic's game. Absolutely. You can see Yemen puts that ball right where it needs to be on net. <laughs> Nobody in net for Cosmic Aftershock. You can see Kyle, who's normally the defensive player, went up to hit that out, so no longer in net. Yemen, the ball just <laughs> plopping out right in front of him, and he puts it right where it needs to be. You could see Sad moved out uh, looking for the clear, but Kyle, unfortunately, was not able to get it out, and Yemen 
uh, closing that lead by one goal and <laughs> follows it up with a great set, but no one there to take advantage. Yeah, that's too unfortunate, but uh, they are starting to come together, turning it around a little bit here, and uh, Cosmic Aftershock now needs to compete a little bit harder than they did just a few minutes ago <laughs> to uh, you know, really close this game out, but they still have the lead, and that could be enough, even with two minutes to play, but they're certainly not the kind of team that's going to just rest on their laurels here. So you can see that uh, great block by Cronovi on the wall, keeping the ball in the zone. He's picking up full boost now, and uh, this could be a dangerous opportunity for Cosmic Aftershock to put one in, but to do with a great block stuffs that, and it rolls all the way back into Cosmic's zone. Yeah, things looking very good for uh, for both teams right now, actually. There's some good trade-off here, despite the opportunities that Cosmic's getting. Uh, we are seeing... Oh, well, dunk my <laughs> sad junior. Just as I was about to say that we were seeing really some equal opportunities coming through by both teams here comes sad jr to get a big extension of their lead with that statement goal there minute 20 left to play and that could really be enough yeah that's you definitely want that type of insurance uh going up two goals uh you know you don't ever want to have to risk going into overtime especially because the team that scores the last goal to get in oh, into overtime has that momentum at that point so a very very important goal from sad jr putting his squad up three to one absolutely necessary to just extend that lead comfortably uh it's certainly not insurmountable of course but it is enough from a momentum standpoint that it really could be the deciding goal here uh for cosmic to take them into game two and cosmic not backing down if uh they can take this game on the eu server as well i think uh the the format we have it is the first two games will be on eu um and then the second or the third game or, or the last three might be on NA. I'm not totally sure. And I, we can check in with our admins on that. But we do do server switching to try to reduce the amount of benefit uh, that the teams get for playing in their region. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's only fair considering, you know, we don't want to let latency or lag be an issue for any of these teams. Um, so good, fair split as best as possible, at least. Yep, and now a solid shot by Dadu on the net, not able to finish, and it looks like Cosmic is going to be taking game one. It's impossible at this point for Complain to come back and get the win. Cosmic Aftershock taking that first game 3-1 to one and looking very good so far out of the gate. Yep, excellent showing by Cosmic Aftershock, really solidifying what we talked about previously about just how they're going to be performing. Uh, and they did a great job there. So we will be... Looks like now just waiting for, uh, there we go, complain <laughs> to queue up so we can head into game two and see if Cosmic can get their stuff together. Yeah, and just, just looking at the latencies too, uh, you can see that the, the players for Cosmic Aftershock sitting in the 100 to 120 range uh, and all the players for complain in sub 40. So that does that does matter, you know, when, you, when you're playing a game like this, there's... Uh, it's so important to recognize in a heartbeat, you know, where the ball is going to bounce. So playing on uh, on the, another region server certainly, you know, does make it a little bit more difficult. But Cosmic Aftershock overcomes that and uh, takes the first win. So uh, if they take the second win, they're going to be moving uh, on to the knockout game. And it's going to be on their own servers, I believe. So uh, Cosmic will have a lot of momentum going into that. Yeah, if you can perform really well on your opposite server games, then the opportunity to just dominate in the next game is right there. So could be very good for Cosmic here, but it, I, I think a lot of it will come down to if they can keep that gameplay momentum going, the same kind of style that they had brought uh, in the previous game, and just carry that forward into this next game here. But it will be tricky, because I'm sure Complain now with one game under their belt has woken up a little bit. They've gotten an idea of what they are, they're up against with Cosmic and the sort of team they're playing against. Uh, so it could very well be enough to uh, to win. Yep, and we're going to go on board with X3MW here, player for Complain, the EU team. We'll see uh, if him and Dudu can work this ball right here and try to get an early goal against Cosmic Aftershock. They would love that. You know, nice early goal, set the tempo, you know, establish yourself as the team. I think that would be a very positive perk for Complain here. 
but we're already a minute down, still nothing on the clock, and not even really.